everyone, it's Missy, and I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a chicken update. I got my, um, one of my ISA Browns here, she's about three years old, and I've seen this before, and I'm going to show you. So as you can see, her butt is like really, really dirty, and a lot of people, they say it kind of looks like poopy butt, some people think it's, um... Uh, I can't remember the term for it, but chicks usually get it. Um, what this is, is it's vent gleet. Um, you can see some of her feathers are missing in the back. Her feathers aren't falling out, it's just that she's pulling them out trying to clean her rear end, you know, because chickens preen themselves. As you can see, she's like making her noises, she's been out foraging all day, her eyes are clear, you know, she's pretty much a healthy looking kind of bird except for that. And I'm going to tell you, it's a bacterial infection and it usually has to do with that the bird um, has either eaten fermented feed or something that she's not supposed to, it's an internal thing. The main culprit for me has to do with our water. I can show you guys. So if you look at the bucket, you can see we are using well water here and that's um, kind of like a rust that we get in the water, but it also has algae in it and bacteria. So if I don't clean the water bucket um, like I'm supposed to, <laughs> it can make the bird sick. And that isn't good. And I just had like a wasp buzz me, so that's why I just jumped back quick. Um, so what I need to do is I need to scour out the bucket, um, any waters that you guys use, and just um, get it as clean as possible. And then you can put in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And these girls, when I do that, they, when they drink it, they're like, oh, that tastes different. It's going to make their water taste different, but they still will be able to drink it just fine. And it will help their inside. It will get their pH level and balance and their crop and so forth, and they'll start feeling better. And then you'll see that, um, that poopy butt or whatever you want to call it clear up. It takes about 30 days a month, but um, it should clear up on its own. If you don't catch it right away, and if you, like, let the don't clean or whatever, the chicken can die. Um, so I mean it is a very common thing that you see in our area at least and it is very easily treatable. It's just that you want to make sure that you're on top of it. And usually I only have one chicken like get it. Like this one over here, this Rhode Island Red, she doesn't have it. And so I mean it's like, um, see I can show you, she has a clean rear end and she's doing just fine. So I mean it, it's and you can kind of see it too because um, the ISA brown her tail is kind of down so you know that she's not feeling too well. Um, but the apple cider vinegar if you want to always put it in the water that's probably a good thing but um, yeah so that's my tip for managing your chicken flock.